Hello people and welcome to another Planetside 2 video. Hope you're all doing good. My name is Matthias and here you see me and Sekas doing exactly what I have been craving to do for a long time. One versus one dogfight. I'm really hoping that the SOE will give us these uh, possibilities in the uh, virtual reality update that's coming. Because as much as I love the big scale feel of Planetside 2 with hundreds and hundreds of people duking it out with all sorts of weapons and vehicles, this is definitely needed. Now unfortunately these dogfights are not fair. I am a NC player but Sekos is not. He's a Vanu player and obviously he cannot fly a aircraft of his own choosing while we both play as NC. So here in the second fight he has my Reaver which is upgraded with the hover stability airframe and Sekos' own choice would be a site with a dogfighting airframe. Frame. Here I don't get the warning for uh, weapon lock uh, anymore. I don't know why. If anybody uh, has the, the answer to that, please let me know because uh, I was really concerned about being weapon locked uh, at the second fight here. After the second dogfight, Reaver versus Reaver, the mere matchup is over, being that we cannot spawn uh, another Reaver anymore. Uh, the acquisition timer stopped us. But we did get one fight, uh, Scythe versus Reaver, so here it goes. Now, unfortunately, in-game, it is very rarely that it is a fair one versus one fight. Most likely will it be something like what you see here. In this case, I'm fighting a site, but uh, actually it's not me fighting a site. It's me and at least one more reaver fighting the site. And uh, obviously, this site will have no chance because, uh, yeah, how could he? So if you started uh, watching this uh, video for the reaver one versus one, unfortunately, I don't have any more. But there's definitely more air-to-air -air gameplay, so uh, yeah, a lot of dogfights, a lot of, I don't know, chasing maybe, whatever you want to call it. I just want to say also that about a week ago, I uh, put a lot of time into making a video, but basically a tutorial about turning and uh, some of the ways that I turn uh, while dogfighting and uh, what ways of turning I find being the most useful and uh, why I do what I do in uh, whatever situations I'm in. This was meant to be a tutorial to help people get better at dogfighting, but for whatever reason I couldn't upload it. There was something about YouTube I tried like four times and I don't know why it uh, didn't work. Oops, sorry, sorry, there will be no more rocket spamming on infantry in this video, I promise. But while in-game I do have a tendency to get a bit carried away from time to time. Now about this uh, tutorial about turning, if this is something you are interested in, if enough people are interested in it, I will try to come out with it and I will try to remake a video of it. But uh, yeah, please let me know if this is something you uh, want to see. Now aside from that, I do have plans on making some more uh, mosquito videos in the future. It's going to be about uh, teamwork and about flying with other experienced pilots. So yeah, I'm very thrilled about this and I'm really looking forward to making this video. I hope that this is something that will be fun for you guys to watch as well. But I don't really have that much uh, teamwork ESF uh, on my channel, so we'll see how it goes. Here in this uh, upcoming situation, I ended up in a bit of a risky situation. I'm chasing this reaver, obviously, and as you can see in my bullet count on the right side, I am running a little bit low. And it's even more dangerous being that I'm over enemy territory. It's not going to be very easy for me to quickly resupply. And uh, escaping is always a risky thing to do because obviously whoever is chasing you will be able to fire on you. And while you are being chased, you cannot fire back. And this is when I realize it and I switch to the rockets because running out of rockets is not that dangerous but running out of the vortex is far more uh, risky because uh, that's your defenses. That's the only way you can defend yourself against enemy aircrafts. So I took him out luckily with the, the rockets and I still have a couple of bullets left but not enough to survive in a dogfight. Normally here I wouldn't engage this liberator but uh, he is already smoking I can see from a former engagement and here he bails out. And uh, it's, uh, it's just so stupid. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't blame the players for doing this. I blame SOE for having this in the game. This is something that SOE should address, as well as the deconstruct in order to just deny your opponent the rightfully earned points for taking out a vehicle. You have any spare ammo?
You have any spare ammo? Could use some ammunition. I owe you one. So now you may or may not already know it, but as you could see, an ammo sunderer will resupply an ESF. Now one of the things that people have been saying about my videos is that uh, why is it that there is no flak uh, shooting at you, or why is it that you're never locked on by uh, any annihilators or hawks or whatever they're called? And believe me, if you ask any pilot that plays on either Miller or Cobalt, they will tell you that uh, there is plenty of flak and uh, lock-ons to go around on both these servers. So, uh, yeah, I don't uh, have a lot of that stuff in my videos. Uh, I try to uh, show you the stuff that uh, hopefully is interesting. And the stuff that I find most interesting, most fun, is uh, fighting other ESFs. It is uh, definitely the part of flying that requires most skill. There are some parts of it, uh, when it comes to air to ground, that uh, actually does require quite a lot of skill, but... Uh, the thing that I find most interesting and most fun about flying is definitely dogfighting. And even though most of the engagements are very one-sided, from time to time you have a really good fight. So, uh, yeah, that will be all for now. I will leave you to it. There is about uh, two more minutes of gameplay. I'm gonna let you have the uh, game sound and some of us uh, blabbering on in TeamSpeak here. I'm with my friends in Consortium. We're talking about the random stuff while I'm just playing some TR. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the rest of the video and bye for now. But it's really good. It's, uh, it's a two-player game. So, and, uh, one player plays the USSR, one player plays uh, the USA. Like, I know there's. McStrike has that Sunder with the two Ranger cannons. It's better than a Skyguard. The fucker is better than a Skyguard. Yeah. It, I mean, not only does it deal a lot of damage, I don't know if it deals more, but you can take much more damage than a Lightning. Oh man, I'm... Come at it. Get in there, guys. We've got our bags. Um, either buy the, the jump pad or buy the um, teleporter room. Come and see here. I never get. I never spawn soldiers. That's why I don't have fucking many searches in this thing. <laughs> So seriously, I'm always ordering someone else to do it. So when you get one, incoming you get enemy one. aircraft. I'm another way round. I've spent loads of sets on my Sandra, and I'm very ready for it. But the first one's just as good if you put the extended mag in it, and then um... yeah, <laughs> all that stuff. Fucking new. And I do. I you use sound like... happy. Jesus. Ham and cheeses. What can I do for you, son? Bomb bit. No. <laughs> Bomb bit. Nah. -uh. Nah. -uh. Oh my god, my C4 did it. Like half an hour ago. Yeah, I didn't. I, 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 personally, I think PS weapons, their fire rate is too high. I think they should be more accurate, but slower firing. They fire faster than TR weapons, I think. And that, in, in, in terms, just in terms of the law, that's the bit. Feels a bit wrong. on average, their fire rates are. The average fire rate of the VS is between us and TR. What is the Geth? The Geth is the robots from Mass Effect. Yes. Oh. Ha 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 Target identified!